it's my great privilege to introduce our next speaker, uh, Dr. Lu Lei. Uh, Dr. Lei is a dermatologist with a clinical and scientific focus on neurofibromatosis. Uh, he received his PhD and MD from the Medical Scientist Training Program at the University of California, Los Angeles, and completed residency training in dermatology, uh, as well as a postdoctoral research fellowship in cancer biology, uh, studying NF1 uh, from the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center, where he is uh, currently a professor and director of the Adult Comprehensive Neurofibromatosis Clinic at uh, UT Southwestern. I'll say, uh, having been blessed to have the opportunity to work and uh, collaborate with Dr. Lay, uh, I, I can tell you he's both an outstanding clinician uh, and a scientist. Uh, his laboratory has created multiple uh, novel uh, neurofibromatosis models to study mechanisms that uh, initiate a neurofibroma development and drive their malignant transformation. And I think these are really groundbreaking studies that have addressed uh, fundamental uh, unanswered questions in the neurofibromatosis field and have provided really important insights into the disease mechanisms of neurofibromatosis uh, that uh, have the potential to lead, uh, I think, to new and effective therapies aimed at you know, both delaying or even preventing uh, tumor formation in individuals with NF1. And so uh, thank you again, uh, Dr. Lay, for being with us today uh, to talk about uh, cutaneous neurofibromas and their surgical management. Stephen, thank you so much for the introduction and thank you so much for uh, the opportunity to, to share with you some uh, of our work on uh, cutaneous neurofibroma. And good morning, everyone, or good afternoon if you are in the East uh, Coast. Uh, as, as you know, and as you just heard, uh, 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 neurofibroma are tumor of the swan cell, which is a very special kind of cell that actually wrap around the peripheral nerve to make them work more effective. And the peripheral nerve extend from the spinal cord all the way uh, to the uh, skin. So, so neurofibroma can develop anywhere uh, along the, the peripheral nerve. If, if, if they are close to, to the spine, then they're called uh, paraspinal uh, neurofibroma. If they involve multiple internal nerve plexus, then it's called uh, a plexiform neurofibroma. Some of these neurofibroma can grow underneath the skin. Uh, called subcutaneous neurofibroma. Uh, but when these tumor uh, grow in the skin, then it is called cutaneous neurofibroma. And uh, 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 your, uh, your skin has a, a different uh, layer. Uh, at the very top is called the epidermis and underneath that is called the, the dermis. And below that is the uh, fatty uh, tissue. And cutaneous neurofibroma develop exclusively in the, the dermis layer uh, uh, of the skin. This is why another name for cutaneous neurofibroma is uh, dermal uh, new, neurofibroma. Now, although dermal or cutaneous neurofibroma develop uh, uh, in, in the skin, they are not tumor of the skin cell. They are tumor of the, the nerve uh, cell uh, in, in, in the, the skin. And these cutaneous neurofibroma can evolve uh, uh, over time. They usually start out as a very small na na nascent growth within the dermis. And as they grow, uh, they begin to uh, protrude uh, uh, from the dermis uh, 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 to the epidermis and outside uh, 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 of the uh, skin, and that can evolve into what we usually call a, a globular tap, uh, uh, where uh, uh, it's more visible and protruded uh, from the skin. And over time, gravity can pull it out uh, uh, and create the uh, pedunculated tap. Uh, uh, and 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 these uh, 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 there's a, 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 the number of uh, cutaneous neurofibroma and the type of cutaneous neurofibroma can vary greatly uh, between individual uh, with an F1. Uh, and some can have thousands 
uh, of this tumor at different state of their development that can cover the whole body. Uh, and, and that's why individuals with NF1 often identify cutaneous neurofibroma as their great tech bur uh, burden. Sometimes they can be very symptomatic, they can cause pain uh, and, 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 and each among many other symptoms. And we now know actually a lot about the biology of, uh, 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 of, of, of this tumor. Over the past 10, 15 years or so, our lab and many other labs around the country have put in a great effort to study how these tumors develop, where do they uh, uh, come, come from. And these biology that, that we learned have paved the way for work that is underway uh, 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 to develop an effective medical therapy, either to prevent or, or, or shrink this uh, tumor. And until we have that, uh, uh, the uh, uh, best uh, way to remove these tumor at this time is to physically re remove them, e either with surgical excision with a blade, or there's different modality, including la laser therapy that can help uh, shrink, remove, uh, 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 or make these tumor uh, 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 go uh, away. But keep in mind uh, uh, that the biology of these tumors is that not only they have a, a portion uh, on top of the skin. They also have a big portion underneath the, the, the skin. So uh, whatever way to remove these tumors, you have to remove all of them. Otherwise, they uh, uh, can come back and they can cause a scar, as you see here uh, uh, in this big uh, picture here. And uh, uh, probably the most effective way uh, to uh, remove cutaneous neurofibroma uh, uh, is uh, 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 something called excision with a, a primary glo uh, closer. This is where uh, the tumor is numb with a local an anesthetic, and then a blade is used to remove the whole tumor in, 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 in a football shape. Uh, and then the wound uh, uh, will be closed with a uh, 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 stitch because the area of uh, removal is large. Typically, this procedure is done under uh, a, a sterile con condition where uh, all the tools have to be uh, sterile just to avoid uh, uh, in secondary infection. And here's an example uh, of a cutaneous neural fibroma on an arm. It was excised and closed primarily, and it will heal really, really well. Now, uh, uh, this uh, excision and uh, uh, primary uh, closure has a lot of benefit. First, it can remove very large tumor, even bigger than two centimeter in, inside. Because this procedure remove the whole thing, the whole tumor, there's almost never a recurrent. Uh, the tumor will, will not grow back. And, and often the cosmetic outcome is outstanding. It will heal really well and over time, the scar can uh, uh, fade. And, and in, in, importantly, most insurance will, will cover the removal of these tumor with excision and primary closure if the tumor is sim symptomatic, including if it is pain, if it is itch. So if, if, if you have an irritating tumor, you have to let your doctor know. But if, 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 it's, if you say that it doesn't bother you in, in any way and you want the, the doctor to, to remove it, Insurance might not cover that because I might consider it more of a cosmetic procedure. So as good as the uh, uh, technique to re remove uh, uh, these large cutaneous neural fib fibroma, it does come with, with a lot of limitation, including it cannot remove multiple tumor at once. Uh, it usually take about 20 to 30 minutes or also to remove each of, of these tumor. Uh, so so uh, that prevents us from doing hundreds of these tumor at, uh, at a time. And they usually require trained surgical specialists, including surgeon, plastic surgeon, or uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, dermatologist. And that really uh, uh, prevent uh, the technique from, from having from more accessible to uh, 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 any one patient uh, uh, around the world. And it depends on how many tumors you want to re remove. It might even require uh, a, a general anesthesia, which uh, can have a, a, a side effect of it uh, itself. 
but to really remove multiple tumor uh, uh, at uh, at one time, we can use uh, a CO2 la uh, la 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 laser, which actually uh, deliver uh, uh, intense localized heat that can vaporize the uh, T. Uh, tissue and typically it de depend on on how many uh, uh, lesions you want to be removed at a time uh, uh, you might uh, need to uh, uh, the doctor might need to put you to sleep uh, so that they can uh, vaporize or ablate uh, uh, many tumor uh, at, uh, at, at a time and clearly one of the, the biggest benefit of uh, co2 or up ablative uh, laser removal is that we can we can remove multiple. I mean, literally we can put you to sleep and get just basically zap these tumor and remove hundreds of them uh, at a time. It's a, because it's a very quick, rapid uh, pro, uh, uh, procedure. And it might have very good cosmetic out outcome for uh, Caucasian po uh, po population, but in uh, uh, people of, of color, uh, it might cause some uh, discoloration, uh, which over time uh, will uh, go, go uh, 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 away. Uh, but it also has a, a, a lot of li li limitation. That is CO2 laser, we cannot use it to remove very large uh, tu uh, tumor. It has high risk for uh, scarring, as you can see here, uh, because sometimes the CO2 laser uh, might not be able to remove the deeper portion of the tumor. And that, therefore, there's a chance that the tumor may, may uh, grow back uh, and, and cause some uh, 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 scarring, as you uh, see here. Another big limitation is that it really re requires a, a trans specialist and the equipment, those laser machines, is really expensive. So typically, plastic surgeon, dermatologists, uh, usually perform this uh, procedure and in the United States, most insurance will, will not uh, uh, cover uh, uh, this procedure, make it one of the biggest uh, uh, limitation for, for, for in individual with uh, NF1. Uh, and similarly, uh, another type of laser called photocoagulation. This is the type of uh, laser that is used to destroy the blood ves vessel, which leading to T cell necrosis or, or death. But this is not a T cell vaporization, or this is not an ab ablative uh, way to uh, destroy the uh, tissue. And that's why uh, for this uh, technique, the uh, cosmetic out outcome uh, is a lot better than a CO2 la laser because it really doesn't ablate or destroy uh, uh, the whole big uh, t uh, t tissue. And similar to the uh, CO2 la laser, this photocoagulation laser can remove multiple uh, 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 tumor at, at one. It's really quick and it has, as I mentioned, really ex excellent uh, cosmetic outcome. However, similar to the C CO2 la uh, laser, the photocoagulation uh, laser can also have a lot of limitation, uh, especially it cannot remove tumor bigger than two uh, uh, centimeter inside. Again, it's really expensive. It requires uh, a, a trained spe uh, a, a specialist. And most importantly, uh, 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 most insurance, again, will not cover this uh, pro procedure make it uh, very limited as most uh, uh, individuals with NF1, uh, not only in the United States, but around the world, probably cannot have access uh, to uh, uh, that. And uh, uh, another very popular way uh, to re remove multiple small cutaneous neural fibroma is called electrodesiccation. This is a very popular way to remove many of these little small tumor. And this work by zapping these uh, a, a tiny cutaneous neural fibroma uh, uh, with, a, 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 with a, a hot tip. And, uh, and, and typically it depends on how many or which area of the, the body that you want uh, the doctor to, 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 to do this uh, for, for you. They might uh, often uh, put you to sleep under general uh, anesthesia in the o OR, and then they, they can remove hundreds or thousands of these uh, uh, tum uh, uh, tumor. Another 
benefit is that the equipment used uh, uh, the the high free uh, cater is really cheap and it's really available in uh, many many medical facilities so uh, if the doctor is is trained to do this pro procedure they should be able to uh, help you uh, uh, with that but i think one of the biggest limitation uh, of this te technique is uh, uh, that uh, you cannot remove bigger tumor. The tumor have to be very uh, as, as, as small. And uh, many individuals with NF1, all they have is, is very small tumor. So this will be a, a perfect uh, pro procedure to remove the cutaneous neural fibroma. And just like uh, 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 CO2 la 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 laser, the electrodesiccation can result in uh, scarring, as you can see here, uh, before and after electrodesiccation of multiple small cutaneous neural fibroma on the face. But many of my uh, patients with NF1, uh, uh, sometimes they, they, they would rather have uh, uh, the little small uh, discoloration scar than uh, the cutaneous neural fibroma. So this would be uh, an ideal uh, Pro, pro procedure, but uh, uh, just like other uh, laser to, to treatment, most insurance again will not cover this uh, procedure as well. So as you can see, uh, uh, many different surgical treatment have their pro and uh, con. Uh, and I, I think an ideal surgical procedure for cutaneous neural fibroma must in, in must include the following first. The procedure must be readily available to a, a, a patient around the world. No matter how good, how effective uh, the uh, uh, surgical pro procedure is, uh, if it's not available, if it's hard for patient to get access to, it's probably not not good. Uh, it must be affordable. Uh, insurance must cover it, or it should be really cheap so that a uh, patient can uh, afford it. Again, if it's too expensive, nobody can afford it. Is probably probably not a, a good uh, pro procedure. We want this to be very simple and effective, uh, uh, so that uh, uh, any provider, uh, nurse practitioner, physician assist, uh, assistant, primary care physician, will be able to use the technique to remove the tumor uh, for patient with NF1 rather than they have to go see a, 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 a specialist. I think that this procedure must be able to remove multiple tumor at a time because individual with NF1 have many, many of, of these tumors. So uh, 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 it would benefit more if the technique can be fast and, and, and can remove uh, multiple tum tumor, not only the number, but the size, uh, because again, uh, the, the size of these tumor can vary. Uh, so the procedure must be able to remove both small and uh, large uh, tumor. Uh, and it must have uh, 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 an outstanding uh, uh, cosmetic out outcome. They must prevent a tumor from recurring and minimal scar, because some individual might not want to exchange uh, these tumor with a very disfiguring scar, for example. And importantly, uh, whatever pro procedure that is done, uh, uh, they must have a positive effect on an individual uh, uh, slide. So based on these uh, 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 characteristics of, of what might be the best surgical procedure for, for these, these tumor, we actually uh, uh, try to, to develop a very simple way to remove many of these tumor uh, uh, based on 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 uh, based on a, 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 a shape biopsy technique that we routinely use in uh, the, the dermatology to remove multiple cutaneous neural fibroma that does not require a sterile surgical field. Uh, utilize uh, uh, clinical equipment that is readily available in any uh, me me medical clinic uh, around the world. And we try to make it very simple so that it can be performed by any healthcare uh, provider, including general practitioner, physician uh, uh, assistant. And, and it's very sim uh, 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 very sim uh, simple. The way uh, uh, we uh, 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 develop it is that you know any tumor can be numb 
with lo local anesthetic. And after num numbing, the tumor can be shaved flat down to the skin. As you can see, that's the top portion of the uh, cutaneous neural fib fibroma. And after you shape the, the top portion, uh, you will uh, see the visible deeper portion of the tumor there. And then that deeper portion can be grabbed with a forceps to pull it up and then uh, to remove either with a dermal blade or just a, a regular ray, a, ray, a, ray, a razor blade. And after you remove the, the deeper portion, then you, you, you can put just one or, or two uh, 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 stitches. And, and these can really uh, lead to a really outstanding uh, cosmetic out, outcome, as you, as you can see before and, 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 and after uh, uh, picture here. Uh, these tumors can be re removed and, 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 and it can heal re really quick. And these are the picture taken five months after uh, 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 remove of multiple of these tumor at different uh, location on the uh, bo 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 on the bo bo body and 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 most patient was really happy uh, with the uh, uh, cosmetic outcome of the uh, procedure so let me share with you just a really quick video of, of how this procedure is is done uh, in fact, I, I need to re reshare the uh, uh, the slide with sound. So let's see. Uh, this part. Okay. So let let's see if it if it play. This video is prepared to show the procedure for neurofibroma sound, removal right? in patients with neurofibromatosis type 1. Yes, yes. Thank you. Prior to this video, the neurofibroma was cleaned with an alcohol swab and the surrounding skin was injected with a local anesthetic. The neurofibroma is grasped by forceps and a dermablade or razor is used to excise the projecting tumor to the level of the skin surface. The neurofibroma has not been completely removed at this point, and it can be grasped by forceps to reveal its entirety within the dermis. Lifting the mass with forceps exposes the tissue, and the dermablade or razor is used to excise the remaining mass. After removal of the entire mass, the remaining lesion can be stitched by the provider's method of choice. This technique utilizes a 4-0 polypropylene suture to make one interrupted stitch. The lesion is dressed afterwards with petrolatum and a band-aid. Suture removal is scheduled for two weeks from today. So, uh, so as, as, as you can see, it literally takes only about a minute to remove each of these tumors. So I typically remove between 15 uh, uh, to, to 30 of these tumor uh, for my patient just in a, in, in a re regular uh, uh, office vi vi uh, vi visit. And many of my patients usually come back every four weeks or every two months to get multiple of these tumor re removed. Even though uh, they might have hundreds of these tumors, typically there are about 10 to 20 that really bother them because they are in a special uh, area like uh, uh, it get cut on cloth when they shape it get, get cut on on the shape for example so getting sometime getting 50 to to uh, 100 of these tumor in in a few office visit can make a big uh, a difference uh, in 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 a patient's life uh, and and again here's just an example of how uh, uh, a cutaneous, an irritated cutaneous neural fibroma behind the right right ear. Uh, uh, we numbered up, we shaped the, the top portion, it exposed the, the deeper portion of the, the, the tumor. We, we then remove it, put a little stitch it, and eventually the tumor is gone, never come back uh, with really outstanding cosmetic out, outcome. So we actually did a study where we enrolled 12 patients and re remove uh, uh, 83 uh, tumor using this uh, 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 surgical tech, uh, 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 technique. And, and at the end, 
everybody was really satisfied uh, with the cosmetic outcome based on the uh, dermatology life uh, quality index questionnaire be before and uh, after uh, 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 these tumor was uh, re removed. In, in, in fact, there was no side effect whatsoever for all of the patient and all the tumor that was removed, except for one tumor that resulted in a, high, a, high, a hypertrophic uh, a, 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 a scar. Although, otherwise, there was no in, infection and was healed really well. But uh, 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 one of the limitation of this modified shape removal is that uh, we cannot remove hundreds uh, 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 of these tumor at a time at a no normal office vi visit. We, we really have to schedule on, on multiple vi uh, vi uh, visit here. Uh, so, so just like uh, uh, all the surgical uh, removal me, um, me, uh, uh, method for cutaneous neural fib fibroma. We have not found uh, an ideal uh, 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 surgical removal uh, uh, technique. They all have uh, the pro and the con. So it really uh, uh, depend on uh, how big uh, your uh, tumors are, how many do you want remove, where are they in your uh, uh, on the, the, the body and what kind of specialist uh, 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 that is available to remove this uh, tumor for you. And my uh, uh, recommendation are the fo uh, fo following. If your cutaneous neural fibroma uh, are asymptomatic and doesn't bother you in any way, leave them alone. You don't have to, 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 to do a, a anything. If they bother you, and, and, and they are uh, big uh, on the bigger side, uh, uh, you can have them excised uh, and closed primarily. Uh, this will you really nice uh, cosmetic uh, uh, out outcome and, and they'll never come uh, back. If there are more of, of them in a, in a more cosmetic sensitive air, uh, air, air uh, in a more cosmetic sensitive air, air area, you can have them removed by the modified biopsy re re removal. And if you have access to uh, a photocoagulation co laser, then that can be done uh, as, as well uh, because they can uh, really give you a really nice cosmetic outcome. And if you want a uh, 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 multiple, hundreds of them re uh, re re removed, you can use the uh, CO2 la laser, or if the tumor is sm smaller, uh, uh, then uh, you can uh, use electro desiccation to re remove hundreds uh, of them. But keep in mind uh, that the CO2 la uh, laser and the electro desiccation can re resolve in uh, 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 some discoloration, discoloration and uh, uh, a, a scarring at the site uh, of the uh, procedure. So if, if you want to learn more uh, about different uh, 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 treatment for cutaneous neural fibroma, you can read two of the papers that we re recently pub, uh, published. And I uh, did email these two articles to uh, Diana to make it available uh, 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 for, for, for you, or you can contact me and I can uh, e email them to you uh, uh, as uh, well. So I, I'm going to uh, 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 stop here and I want to thank you for being here uh, this mo morning. I'm actually on call uh, today and I got paid to go to the hospital. So uh, uh, so I have to go and I cannot stay for the, the Q&A uh, section uh, at the end. But I think we have a, a, a few minutes left and I would be happy to answer any question uh, that you might, might have. So thank you again. Thank you, Lou. That was outstanding. Wonderful talk. This is really a, a major, a major advance, I think, you know, uh, in the technique you described of being able to remove these neurofibromas in this way. Um, so thank you very much for sharing that. I know that Diane did put the um, two articles that you had shared uh, in the chat. So um, folks should be able to find the links to those 
Um, there was one question that I wanted to ask, um, which was uh, about, did the study include individuals with darker skin uh, since hyperpigmentation can occur? Yes, so we, uh, the majority of, of patients in the study was, uh, uh, was ca Caucasian, but we did in, in include African-American in, uh, 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 in the study. But you know, at the end, be, uh, be, because we close the wound uh, with a uh, uh, with a stick, so usually the the scar will be very sm small. So typically, you you don't see this uh, coloration at the end. But one potential problem is uh, the scar can become hypertrophic. So uh, keloid and 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 hypertrophy of the scar is more common in in African American. So you have to be careful when where to remove these tumor. At a certain area, they're more prone to develop keloid. Or make sure you check uh, with the patient or if you are the patient and if you have a history of developing keloid or hypertrophic scar, make sure you let your doctor know uh, uh, be, uh, 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 because that can, can, can predict uh, uh, whether you have a hypertrophic scar after that. I have, I have one question that um, I'm surprised hasn't been asked. Um, what would you suggest to people in terms of accessing, um, getting access to treatments like this? I think um, we saw that how high the population is that has NF, and this is a very common issue. And it's uh, you know, a frustration with adults that have a lot of them where they go to get these treatments. Yeah, and again, that's very frustrating to me too. That's why we we developed this technique here because my patient come and, 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 and demand it. Uh, uh, and, and it's just so hard to get access to it. So would uh, rather invent or create something that is complicated, so expensive, require expensive uh, e equipment. That's why we developed this very simple technique. And the hope is that uh, for patients around the world, in Africa, Asia, South America, people who doesn't have access to dermatologists or plastic surgeon, who all they've seen is primary care, uh, primary care physician or nurse practitioner. Uh, and that's why we published the uh, technique. And we ask even the video that I show is also available on the web. Uh, so that my hope is that for, for individual uh, with NF1, if they've seen it, uh, they can just bring that publication or they just have that web link and show it to their, their, their doctor, anyone, a, 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 a physician assistant, nurse practitioner, anyone. It, it is really, I, I, I joke with, with my patient, I say, this is really a monkey see, mon monkey do way. I mean, you literally just look at it, how easy it is, anybody, anybody in medical field should be a, able uh, 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 to remove this tumor for uh, 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 a patient with NF1. So even in the US, it's an issue, but that, that video you showed is like a minute long. Exactly. You know, that's, I, that's all I it, think it takes. To, send it to our dermatologist and say, look at this. Let's see. Not just dermatologist, but I, I think anyway. anybody. Yeah. Uh, be, because the, uh, the, all the, the, the equipment is available. Any, any medical office, this doesn't have to be a dermatologist's office, we have all of these equipment and they should be able to remove this tumor for uh, individual with NF1. Thank you, that was- all right. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is fantastic. Thank you, Dr. Lei, so much. We, we greatly appreciate your time to share with us. Thank you again.